Hi, this is Sarah. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, my laptop sound won't work, so it won't record sound. It, it'll play, but it won't record, so I'm not recording from my laptop. I'm recording from my phone. And um, so my arm really hurts. I had a switch already. Um, but I just wanted to update on a couple of things. Some really great things have happened. Um, so first off, I'm finishing up an order I got from Brickyard Buffalo. I was featured on their site just a couple weeks ago. And so I'll be sending out those orders really soon. And um, coming up, there's a, another, I guess, locally based online site. Um, well, the news station is called KSL, and they have a site called And Ruby where they do similar things to Brickyard Buffalo, um, of you know accessories and fashion and home type stuff. Um, you know, mainly for girls. I think there's guy stuff as well, but in the girls section. And my bags will be featured on there this week. I, be I believe it's this week. Um, and then there's an online, again, another online deals site based in France that will be featuring my stuff in a couple weeks. And they're called RAD. Um, and the, their site is r3aaad.fr. So again, r-a-a-a-d.fr. And um, a really cool, funky site, really bright colors. Um really trendy stuff that you can find there and I just so honored that they're they want my stuff on there. I think they just found me from my big cartel shop. So that's really cool. Um and I think that's it at least sales wise with my bags. The other project you may be familiar with is moving mountains that I'm working on with my sister in law in making bags to send to Honduras. And so that's gone really well. We had a group of ladies from uh, Virginia, my hometown, um, let me know that they gathered women in their church and made about 40 plus bags, maybe 50. And so they're gonna be sending that to my sister-in-law in Texas. Um, so we're still accepting bags to um, to be made. And so please send them over. You can watch my other video of about the project and about um, how to send that over. And and again, what the bags are for is for those that live in landfills to carry their items and their belongings so that they can keep them, you know, nice and tidy and be able to travel with, with those items as well, you know, knowing that they, you know, move from place to place all the time. And then the other thing, um, I don't know if I've announced online to you, but I will be going to Africa this summer. I'll be going with a local nonprofit organization called Help International, and they focus on health, education, and business. And I am just really excited. There's so many things I want to accomplish, um, but mainly I'll be teaching sewing and trying to find activities, and not activities, I guess projects that are based um, on the needs of the community and another thing is um, I'll be teaching dance and acting classes and maybe some other things um, involved in the arts but those are my main focus because there's a lot of low self-esteem in the children out there and you know just some uh, a fun um, after-school program to get them involved to get you know their creativity going and to really build unity and um, increase their self-confidence. I'm really excited to work with the children there. And then also um, working with the women in helping them gain income um, to help support their families and send it, send their kids to school because it is expensive uh, for them at least. And so working with um, you know the artisans in uh, seamstresses or in those that are in textiles and working with them and giving them more of a global platform to sell their items um, and in conjunction working with a company that's already established they actually went to Uganda last summer and set up this company called what, Thousand Shillings and they worked with women who make the paper beads and um, you know they tell the stories these stories of these women that make these beads and sell it um, again, like on a global market, so that their items reach a larger audience. Um, so I think that's a really neat, great thing that they've done, and I'll be working with um, mainly, again, the seamstresses and, and textiles. So there's that. Um, so I believe that's it. Those three main projects I'm going to start off with, but you never know. I'll go in and find out there might be some other need or maybe need to alter those, um, those goals of mine. But that's the, you know, I'm... Oh, just really excited to go and so what I would love some help in is being able to fund you know for those projects and my expenses being able to go out there I'm quitting my job this is my last week of work and um, I'm trying to raise you know and save as much money as I can um, I'm you know doing all these deals 
um, on these sites to earn more money and I'm spending you know all my nights and weekends sewing um, and so I'd love for you as my fans and followers to support me in this and support the cause of these projects I'm doing in Uganda um, by buying my bags sharing you know this video or sharing my cause with other people um, or just making a donation I would love any bit that you can to help me out um, because then I'll be coming back to no job <laughs> when I come back um, and looking for another job and so I would really love support in that way um, and I just assure you that it will go for a great cause and I will do you proud and and you know my goal is to to provide these sustainable skills for them that so that they have um, they'll be able to have a more stable um, future and be able to have these skills that can help them you know and pass them along um, I'm all about education and all about making you know a uh, things more stable for for others um, especially the children and so that they can have a normal education you know academic education um, and sending them to school so um, so yeah that's about it just a couple updates and where I can really use your help um, so just thank you so much for following and thank you so much for your support and um, following me in this journey and it's been really exciting and I know when I come back I'm excited to you know, open up a, an African line you know based on these textiles that I find or develop um, working with the women there and I'm just excited for for what comes next so again thanks for watching